now we can start working on the next uh, operation the next operation we are left with family table and we can see there family table is a, a feature in which we can create one part and uh, we can get the number of copy of that in some various sizes and uh, we use basically this feature for having the you know same object for utilizing number of times and for standard parts only just like bolts nuts washers these parts are you know um, found in market as a standard part we just need to give the name of the part then we can get the or, or name of the or the specification of that part and we can get the part anywhere in india or some any other country same parts so that will be dependent on the some standard sizes so we are just defining here new file and here we are just going to create a new file which is a washer file so here we are just saving the file with the name of washer washer and here you can see there base will be of circular the size i'm defining here is around uh, basically i'm just going to draw the um, washer for m12 bolt so for m12 i have to work on m14 so id will be 14 so that m12 bolt can be inserted easily so that has been given and after that we are just having one more sketch like this and put the value which is double from the first value the value i am defining here is around 28 so just control 8 control 7 and after that go for extrude here counter should not be selected size we are defining here is 2 millimeter then after that we will see there we have got the washer here of around 14 millimeter for having m12 volt so now uh, this is the boss extrude feature we have got and now we can see one thing here in insert we have the operation which is called table and under table we have the operation which is called design table so before starting family table I have to use standard design table family table is also called as design table so here is family table so here we are calling family table as a design table now the auto create file will be created not blank not from file from file we can utilize but if we have the file already design table file then we can call that file otherwise we have to save auto create file here edit control points and here allow edit model allow model edits to update the design table the option will be chosen and after that click ok now we will see there you will see the d1 of sketch 1 d2 of sketch 1 and here d1 of extrude number 1 so pick all these three and click ok now all these three will be coming in the table in the excel sheet before using this option you just confirm yourself that you are using a excel file table need to be edited again edit table so now again we have opened the same table parameter color description need to be added ok and now we, will see, we have seen there we have got default 14 28 and 2 is the height so now I am just giving some more sizes here I am giving M16 oh sorry I am just reducing the value M12 M10 M 8 M 6 so these three I am just creating here and instead of default I am just giving the name M 12 
the washer ID will be 14. Here 10, then washer ID will be 12. Here it should be 10, it should be 8. Now here we are defining the next thing. The next thing will be the OD, outer diameter. It should be all the time. It can be double from the first in the ID value. So it should be 24, 20 and 16. The height I'm defining is 2.5, 3, 3.5. Color is not mentioned there. We can define the color according to our need. And description I need not to give. So just give the inputs here and click outside. Now the table has been generated and configured by M6, M8, M10, M12. Click OK. Now you have got the configured part here. Just pick here, right click, show configuration. Then you can see the configured part right now. Show configure. The bigger size will be there. Show configured. And here too, show configured. So we have got number of entities here, having the more configuration there. And now uh, we can see there, we can edit the table anytime here by clicking right here and here editing table. So we can add some more things as well. Now I'm just doing one thing here. Click here. And now here is the operation which is called materials. Now we are just talking about what is material. So we can see there, you right click on this option and here you will see the option which is called edit material. Here is the library of materials. So I am just providing the uh, steel. Alloy steel will be there. SS. So material has been specified to this only. But I want to give materials to each and every configured part also. It is also called as configured part. No? So just use configure material. And here you will see the library. M10, M12, M6, M8. Here alloy steel is available. But material not specified in M6, M12 and M10. So I'm just specifying the, uh, the option here. We have number of uh, uh, materials here. Otherwise, uh, I can use for browse more. And you will see the same library there. I'm just using some other uh, materials like aluminium and iron or some steels or something like that. I'm just utilizing there copper. So here brass and copper will be there. I'm just providing copper uh, and brass here and here I'm just defining copper. Some other materials also I'm defining is 1060 alloy and here I'm defining uh, next operation will be the rubber. I'm just providing the value is rubber. And then click OK. Apply. The appearance of this material is different than the existing appearance. Would you like to link display state to configure to show the material appearance in the each configuration? Yes. Then the appearance will be added to configuration part. Now you can see there, if you are using this configured model tree manager and we'll see there the part will be change its appearance to like this and now we can see there we have uh, created a design table there family table and now we have got the configured part the each and every uh, size will be different and weight also will be different. We can check the mass operation there. Here is the mass operation. You can check out the mass for this configuration part. We see center of mass, volume mass, 4.49 grams will be there. Show configuration part. Mass. The mass is 5.44 gram for this part. If I'm using the first one part, that is, I think, rubber part, so just use that mass, and mass is 0.92 gram. So mass will be changed according to the material of the object. So we have used the, all the configured part here, save the file. And this was called uh, configuration part.
so we can use configure part we can use each and every part in assembly module so just save this part and click ok done and that was the last topic for today which was uh, configured part or we can say design table so now next topic will be covered in our next session so that's all for today goodbye